YouTube Mataze Dala <laughs> Today in light of the new championship edition of Street Fighter 5 we're gonna talk about the five reasons why you're trash at Street Fighter 5 now I know you're like wow why is this guy so qualified right why is he so hey nigga ain't you super gold Number five, you do not practice like a pro. Oh yeah, time to play some Street Fighter. Practice, time to practice. All right, that's good enough for me. Have you ever seen Justin Wong, Tokido, Daigo, you know, all of these top players who win and dominate, sometimes dominate, sometimes always win, right? You see these guys and how they play, you did they play for one hour? You did they just stretch, get on, turn it on for a few seconds, and play for like an hour and think they're godlike and gonna win this tournament? No! They play for eight hours. This is their job. Eight hours or more. And then after they play eight hours at their house, they're going to their friend's house to play some more. And if not, they're playing at tournaments. If not, they're playing at locals. If not, they're playing at arcades. They're playing somewhere where they're getting this training. You, however, only play for like 30 minutes to an hour. So what makes you think you're gonna win this tournament? What makes you think you're going to get fantastic when you only play for 30 minutes to an hour? Even two hours. I don't think it's enough. I think you need to play your heart out. You need to play four hours like how they do. They play four hours. They play so much that I'd be sick of this game. Number four, frame data. Oh my god, why do I keep getting hit with that? It's like plus 3,000. You can't hit any buttons. See, look. I told you, it's plus 3,000, you can't hit any buttons, you stupid mother- A lot of you guys think you know your frame data. A lot of you guys don't study frame data, like how they do. You know, there's some people out here that know frame data from the front and back of their hands. Like, they know all of the frame data. Me? Eh, eh, eh. No way. No way at all. I'm only gonna learn the frame data to the shit that I'm losing to, and that's why I am trash at Street Fighter 5. Some of you will press buttons when you know you shouldn't. You just wanna slap buttons and get it over with. You think you can just pick top tier and slap any button that you want. Well, guess what? You can't! Number three. Less time traveled equates to more inexperience. Number one, Ibuki ranked player on Xbox Live. And we'll see what the number one ranked Ibuki player on Xbox Live can do against MCZ desperation move. Right now, just a footsie battle here, whiffing a lot of normals. I get it. Try to hit him with the tip. Uh oh. Gets caught. Now he's stuck in the corner. Ibuki's options, of course, are very limited until she gets one EX bar. Even then, all she can do is counter with uh, EX, uh, EX uppercut. Oh my god. Oh my god. And uh, Kaiser uh, takes round one with the perfect. All right, not let's looking see. good. Wow, that was safe again with the random ultra. Oh my god! Oh, and then he goes for a reset in the lunge punch. Double perfect. White gun goes down. Uh. The look on White Gun's face says it all right now. Well, really, this is one of those situations where we remember that day. Don't be that guy. Number two, pride and small victories. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, yes. Oh my God, my training. Pain on. Yes. Mm. What happened? I just fought Daigo. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Did you beat him? Nah, I hit him with a cross jab. Just. Why are we still here? He was going for a throw. Just to suffer. He got me. Every Just night. He got three perfect throws. I can feel my leg. Yeah. And my arm. I didn't get around. Even my but fingers. I hit him with a jab. I've been practicing. I've been training. The body I've lost. Jab. Hard work. The comrades I've lost. That's a small victory. You ain't getting better that way. You need to take that bus ass and learn from it. And number one, you're an OG. Oh my god. This game sucks, bro. It's trash. Yo, back in my day, in Street Fighter 4, like, 
we was running shit. And this game is trash compared to Street Fighter 4. Yo, play me in Street Fighter 3 Strike. You're just trash, bro. You're trash. Give up. You're garbage. Quit. So there are veterans and there are OGs. Can you believe that O Niners are now veterans? O Niners are veterans now. But the OGs are the people that have been around since before 09. So for me, I wouldn't consider myself an OG. I started uh, my career in 2007 when I started playing professionally or playing in tournaments and stuff like that, like competing. Um, but there are people who've been there way before me. Arturo Sanchez, Sanford Kelly, Nelson Reyes, Daigo, Alex Valle, IFC Yipes, Justin Wong, Mike Ross, Andre Lambert, Lord Jago. All of these people came before me. So I consider them to be my OGs and the people that I looked up to when I was trying to come into the game. For me, I wouldn't consider myself an OG. I consider myself a veteran, and I'm definitely not going to say I'm an OG. The reason why I say you're an OG is because you're stubborn. You don't want to learn a new game because you're out of your heyday or because the new game is not the same as the old game that you were playing. So you don't want to get better at it and you refuse to learn. Get that stubbornness out your head. You're going to continue to get wrecked if you don't stop being an OG, my guy. You got to take that pride out. Sure, you're an OG and we need to all respect you, but motherfucker, you need to get in there and play this game. There's a reason why you're our OG and why we need to respect you, and you need to show that in this new game or new old game. So in Street Fighter 6, I expect to see all of you old heads coming out here and putting a whoop ass on anybody that wants to pick up these sticks because we have to learn from y'all. Come back, throw that pride away, and let's see what you got. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, hit that like button. I want to know what everybody has to think. Tell me your comments down below, please. I want to read them. I want to read them so bad. I want to read the shit out of those comments. And, uh, you know, maybe give me a subscribe. I appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>